hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit that subscription button this is part two of my moon palace vlog and in part two all i'll be talking about is food yes the vlog was so long i had to make a separate vlog just to talk about the food at moon palace right so as i said before hit that subscription button turn on post notification and i'm gonna go straight into it so doing it in a particular order and we're gonna start with breakfast so this is the main breakfast area which is called buccaneer reef is actually right beside the main pool right and this is the pool area right here again guys check out part one i'm going to be leaving the link in the description below so if you miss part one and you want to know everything else about the hotel you have to check it out all right now buccaneer reef this is where all the buffet is with a breakfast lunch or dinner and this is breakfast so the start this was scrambled egg with cheese they had sauteed corn grilled pepper they had a vegetable caponola i'm pretty sure i'm pronouncing that wrong and that's that brown stuff right there they also had a local station with the bami boiled dumpling callaloo they had ackee and saltfish they had beans you know curry chicken so the breakfast station for the local part wasn't bad right of course there's going to be an egg station right where you can get um your typical what i call typical american breakfast you know bacon sausages boiled egg there was that salsa thing i really didn't know what that was if i'm being very honest um but yeah and they had hash brown wedges and all of that and of course they had another area where you could make your omelet tell them whatever it is you want in it and then this was omelet and no sorry egg and cheese that they had right there pancake station i really like this too cute thing right here that they're using all of the um the pancakes were even um i'm a little ocd which is why i'm mentioning that and then these are the different toppings that you can put on your waffles and you can put on your pancakes right jam sugar even condensed milk peanut butter it was really just a diabetes station if you ask me that a cornflakes area for the kids of course because it's an all-inclusive hotel it's a family resort um and then they had the vegetables um for those who want to make salads they had the drink station there was also a yogurt, sorry, a yogurt area, right? Side note, guys, those drinks were very watered down. I did not like them, not one bit. <laughs> they weren't good. Like the juice that they had in the little jar thing wasn't good. I really love their assorted cheese station, the cheese and jam with crackers. Yeah, that was yeah. And the fruits, of course, they had watermelon, cantaloupe, pine. You know, typical fruit. And then this is the. It's for those who have a sweet tooth so they have all the different baked goods so this was pretty much what the breakfast buffet looked like as i mentioned before the breakfast buffet goes from 7 a.m to 11 a.m and you know sometimes you go to a hotel most of the times breakfast stops at 10 so i was actually pleasantly surprised to see that the hotel breakfast area went all the way up to 11 a.m and this is what we got you guys just guess which plate is man the first one or the second one just take a guess <laughs> anywho to be very honest i only went to the buffet house buffet once even though i spent like four days and three nights because for the most part we slept in and then we ordered in room service so this was the breakfast room service that you know had waffles bacon they also i also ordered the mackerel running because i wanted to try it we had tea and we had juice and let me tell you something guys you see in order of what tasted nice you know the mackerel runner was good they gave me yam i don't like yam but i should have told them that i didn't want any yam the pancakes were okay but you see these waffles right here terrible terrible the waffles were terrible but the good thing is that you know room service is 24 hours moving on to the snack station so this is in the lobby area right so right over here on the right we have the bolangeri i think that's how it's pronounced where you can get like you know little baked goods and it's like a little coffee shop i'm gonna get back to that um oh my god guys got these marble tiles i cannot stop talking about the marble it was so beautiful anywho where we're going right now is the gourmet corner right so in this little area right here and this is open from 8 a.m to 11 p.m that's where you can get the pizza you can get the paninis and there's also a sushi station which is over here but the sushi station opens from 11 a.m to 11 p.m so the pizza and panini is 8 a.m to 11 p.m while the sushi is 11 a.m to 11 p.m um 
So, you know, all in all, this was a nice little area. That's the birthday girl right here. She's giving us a little twirl. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And, you know, as you could see from the previous clip, there have numerous areas where you can be seated and so on and so forth. So, we got a little bit of everything. We got the pizza. We got the panini. Which, in, to be very honest, wasn't really a panini. It was more of a sandwich. <laughs> and, of course, we had the sushi. Right? So, this is a nice snack area so this is the panini um for me it was it was just okay it was just like a sandwich is like ham and cheese and then they had the jerk chicken one um they really liked it for me it was okay and then afterwards the guy came with the sushi so what i liked as well was that you order your food you went you got your seat and they came and they brought it over to you so it's kind of like a dining experience at a restaurant even though it's a snack station right uh, we got a California roll, we got tuna rolls, we had, what was the other one? I can't remember the name of the other one, but the sushi was good, right? The sushi was good. Now, to this little area right here, which is called what? Bolangeri. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, guys. Forgive me. But here, we can get to our ice cream. And let me tell you, the ice cream was very good. It tasted just like Devon House ice cream. It never tastes like Port Alaska. It was probably the best hotel ice cream I've ever had. And as you can see right here as well, you have many other sweet treats for all of those. We have a sweet tooth. We have the cakes and all of that. And, you know, a good thing with this spot is that it is open 24 hours right so if you guys watched the previous vlog and again guys you guys have to go and check out the previous vlog club nor which is a nightclub which by the way is open on tuesday thursday friday and saturday night from 10 p.m to 3 a.m is just adjacent to this so here they have a crepe station you can get the savory or the sweet crepe and after the night when we went to the club and it finished at 3 a.m i came here and i got my crepe um i went ahead and got peanut butter with caramel um i never did nutella because for me nutella is just too sweet so you know 24 hours guys if you're leaving the club and you're hungry you just head over to this little area all right okay so now we're going into lunch this is the jerk hut now if you come to a hotel in jamaica it's just mandatory for there to be a jerk hut right i mean every hotel is going to have a jerk station right and as with every other hotel, this <laughs> hotel had a jerk station. They had um, jerk chicken as well as jerk pork. So I went ahead and got some jerk pork, which is this right here. And I'm telling you, it was very good, very succulent. They gave us some sweet corn with it as well as festivals. So, oh, 10 out of 10 for the jerk hut. 10 out of 10. This is what I got right here. Pork, festival, corn, and then to wash it down, the jelly man was right outside. You know, so we got some coconut jelly. This is actually the first time I've seen someone cut a jelly with a knife. They normally have a machete or something else, but boss man did I do it with a knife and it, he did a very good job. So definitely check out the jerk hut, right? Moving right along, um, for lunch, there is also this little area right here called Pier 8, which is a seafood and grill. Um, fun fact with here is that you can also get breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I didn't know that, but we went here and we got lunch. Um, the breakfast time is from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And then lunch is from 12.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And dinner, which is more of a seafood type, is from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Now, we decided on this spot after Chung was looking at the app because there's an app that comes with the hotel you can look at the different stuff. And this is actually the menu when we got there, but the menu on the, on the app was different. So it's more like a you know wings quesadilla wraps you know all of that you know those basic american style lunch options right so i got some fruits we got the wings which was very good um we also had like the there was like a steak wrap like a chili cheese steak wrap that was also very good and i went ahead and tried the vegan option just to try it and this was it was tostada coconut tostada if i'm pronouncing that right and it was okay and of course i have to mention the room service because i ended up ordering a lot of that because i slept in we had burgers nachos escovitch fish and burger wasn't bad burger was pretty good so you know they got a little better with the room service right also guys when you're there you're gonna see the locals with some of their work so these are some paintings and they were very very good now i don't know if they're here every day but when we were there for the weekend they were there so this one was my favorite piece this one right here with the house and the guy climbing the coconut tree so very very talented people we have here in jamaica 
Okay, lunch at the buffet area. So they had some chicken sandwiches. They had air with nachos, pizza, nuggets. So this is basically a kid station with the fries and all of that. Then moving on, we had... But then there are some things, right? So this was at the seafood, jambala, Asian roast chicken, pineapple sauce, so all sorts of something. Now you're probably wondering why I know what these stuff are. It's because they had the place cards at the top. So kudos for that, right? The Jamaican era, which was the rice and peas. That was some jerk pork in the back. You know, you don't know. We have the gravy. They had um, escovitch fish, which is on all of that uh, pepper and stuff. And they had cabbage as well as some roast chicken, right? And this was the pasta area. Most hotels tend to have a pasta station where you can get pasta. They also had chicken kebabs. They had rice and noodles, more of fish, and something called sush taku. Listen, I don't even know. I don't want to curse any bad words. But as you can see, the place cards are there. And each time they change them. So we appreciated that. And if you want to know what, what is, we can look at the place cards. Right? So... I, so some other food I didn't even know what was taking place to be very honest at the ham station with the corn and then we had a little juice area right we had a little salad area as well where you could get all sorts of different salads so you had a black bean salad Caesar salad they had Norway salad potato salad they had coleslaw you know so for all the vegetarians out there they had you you know with that tuna platter an assorted meat platter and they had salmon as well a salmon platter so this was the buffet area for lunch with the dessert area chocolate cake red velvet fruit cake you know chocolate uh, fruit tart and you know all of that for the sweet tooth I actually never had buffet here I didn't have food lunch here sorry I actually just did the video for you guys cuz uh, again I keep telling you guys I slept in I really did okay now dinner but before we get into it look at my friends look at the birthday queens look how they look lovely listen i think what my friend them know them stay real good anywho right now where we are is the italian restaurant which is called la gondola pretty sure i might have been pronouncing that wrong you have to wait to be seated and everybody in your party has to be here before you can be seated which is why when you watch part one of the vlog, you see that I'm in a red dress when I went to the games lounge, right? Because they weren't ready as yet. But we can see why they're fashionably late and rightfully so because they look very good, right? Anyways, afterwards, um, you're seated by the hostess. But let me tell you guys, like, in here was very clean. Look at the decor. Like, it's definitely giving nice restaurant vibes, right? So, I give them, like, an A for that, right? Also to note guys, this restaurant did not require you for you to make a reservation prior, right? So we just decided to go to this restaurant that this night. And the restaurant is open from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., right? Also guys, in part one, I made a big announcement and I'm going to say it again here. My website is up. So for those who might be new here who don't know, I offer tours and transportation in Jamaica. And if you guys are coming to Jamaica, while this particular hotel has a lot that can be done on the hotel itself, you, you know, it's always good to get off of the hotel. And even though I'm showing you guys the food, the food off of the hotel is way better, right? So if it is that you're interested in, you know, street food tour or, you know, just going to local restaurants, going rafting or anything along that nature, then definitely... Click the link which will be in the description below for my website. You guys can book your excursions there. Um, you guys can contact me as well. I'm on Instagram. You can follow me there. I'm also on TikTok. Same handle. And you can email me. As I really like emails that much but I will respond. <laughs> and I also have a business WhatsApp number so you can definitely reach out. Um, so yeah. The waiter came, you know, gave us some bread and butter, gave us water, he took our drink order, he came back with the wine. We had this particular drink that was called Rob Roy. Um, yeah, it's very strong, guys. It's very strong. If you're a whiskey lover, it's for you. Um, regarding the appetizers, we had calamari wings, we had tuna tartare, or should I say I had tuna tartare, everybody had calamari wings, right? Um, and then shortly after, he came out with the main dish, um some duck breasts and then we had um i got spaghetti i just kept it simple 
um we also had risotto um lasagna and what was the other thing i can't remember the other thing that we had now guys the menu that i showed you guys was in english as well as italian and what i will say about the restaurant is that the service was good our waiter was very funny very entertaining you know the turnaround time for the food was good you know katie had some pasta as well um but for me you know the food was just okay you know we had salmon so we ordered two dishes each because you can order as much eh, dishes as you want so you know trying something new and so forth um but for me i'm very glad i got the spaghetti um my friend said that the duck breast was quite dry but the lasagna was very good so there's that so that's the italian restaurant guys put it on the list right now in this lobby there was so much that was happening it was christmas time there was a performer she was singing you know it was nice it was very different and entertaining and then as i mentioned before in part one it was wedding season so i'm telling you everywhere you looked everybody was in a wedding dress i'm telling you but i love it i love it yeah love love so you know congratulations to all the newlyweds that are out there right now still on dinner again we're making our way down to the to momo which is the chinese restaurant or the tabayaki restaurant that we had made a reservation for so this restaurant you have to make a reservation if you want to use the tabayaki table and reservations can be made from 9 a.m to 1 p.m so you can't come the day before and say you want to do a reservation the day before you have to make it between 9 a.m and 9 9 a.m sorry and 1 p.m right so you know the the decor for the restaurant was very nice it was in keeping with the the name of the restaurant and so forth and afterwards we got seated and immediately after the waitress came out and she told us you know what was going to be on the menu i uh, started out with some sushi and then we had the edamame which for me was actually so good it was really really good this is our chef um he was quite entertaining as well um very nice you know comical right he was telling me that was his good side so he wasn't camera shy and i i like when people aren't camera shy you know it makes my vlogging easier anyways i'm coming out with a big pot um you know of rice and you you guys gonna see he does the preparation so he had the green sauce which he called the marijuana sauce and I, I really believe that the the tourists that were sitting at the table with us they really truly believe that it was some amount of marijuana but it wasn't guys it was like thyme skillion onion all of those stuff blended up together right and then you know the fire show starts uh, more fire more fire which is, a, which is a common thing that we say here in jamaica and you know then he he plated the rice um i'm gonna be honest so he came with the rice the rice is tough you get me me now go on it the rice is tough me never really like the rice but you know what i did love what i really love was the stir fry vegetable that he did you see the stir fry vegetable that he's doing right here it was so good it was so good and afterwards he came out with the meat pork chicken or shrimp and then he gave us a little show i'm gonna let the show that he gave us play no 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 Said it's all about Romy and the big fat sister Naomi. You guys really in Jamaica. Let me go international. Hold on, let's get down and dirty. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, hey, do it now. Cook it good, cook that shrimp just like you should. My neck, my back, cook my shrimp just like that. Come on, my neck, my back, cook my shrimp just like that. Let me take it to a place that's nice and quiet Ain't no one gotta know, ain't gotta rush I just wanna cook on this damn stove And I've been cooking here for so long And I'ma cook till the sun comes up Baby, I just wanna cook on this damn stove 
so after the little performance, and I'm not do too bad, right? After the little performance, him give the meat. So, of course, before he started, he asked who had any allergies, and Jungwoo have a little shrimp allergy. So he did the chicken first, then the pork, and then the shrimp last. Yes, that's how he did it. I was asking my good friend if she enjoyed the food. You know, let me tell you, the rice, the rice did kind of tough, you know. Yeah, and, and I don't think it's any fault of this chef right here because you saw where he came with a big pot of rice. So it probably just never cooked. I don't know, I don't know. The rice just wasn't it for me. Um, but guys, you know, like this video, subscribe, you know, share, turn on post notification, check out all of my other hotel review vlogs. You know, as always, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And let me tell you what was the best thing for this meal. This right here. Yes, it is. I think it was what? I think was it French toast with ice cream? I don't even know what it was. I just realized where he said he has dessert for us. And may I tell you, this right now, I'm gonna eat 10 of it. It was so good. It was so, so good. So when you go there, tell me I want the dessert first. <laughs> yes, I love it. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. As I mentioned before, guys, definitely try food off of the hotel, right? And if it is that, that's what you want to do. You can reach out to me. Like I said, the link for my website will be in the description below where you guys can book and find different ways to reach out to me. All right. So we're heading to the buffet area now. As you can see, you know, the pool area the outside looks nice at night. I wanted you guys to see that. And it's the same buffet area that we went to. That's Buff um sorry, Buccaneer Reef. That's where we are for dinner this particular night. And the Buccaneer reef dinner is from 6 p.m to 11 p.m so this was actually the first night when we got here um we just decided to go and check out the buffet again you're greeted by someone you're seated and then afterwards you go to the buffet area and you get whatever it is that you want now for the buffet they had curry chicken cabbage they had baked bean they had scallop they had potato wedges you know jerk pork again they had chicken they had festival you know rice and peas and regular rice as well you know this is the kids station i guess because they had fries and of course there was a pasta station i feel like most hotels definitely will have a pasta station right and this was some seafood i don't know what it was they had dirty rice i don't know why you would name any form of rice dirty rice i don't know and these were some buffalo wings but I don't know why you would name any food dirty anything. I don't know why they did that. I never tried the dirty rice. Because it just never looked appetizing. And the name wasn't inviting either. So I don't know why they did that. But <laughs> I kind of went off on a tangent right there. But right. So as you can see I'm showing you guys a place card. You know I don't want to bite my tongue. This is what they had there. Some of what was here was actually similar to what they had for lunch. Um, at the buffet area for lunch, so you know, kind of the same. Ah, the buffet, the dinner. Actually, when I went to dinner this particular night for the buffet, I actually had um the cheese, that <laughs> cheese and jam with some crackers, which was very good. I don't know, I just I had a small craving for cheese and the jam, so that's what I that's what I got. You know, I never really ate what I would normally eat when I was at the hotel this time around. You know the cravings were weird to say the least but that's the salad station you know they have the assorted cheese area the assorted meat platters sometimes i wonder if anybody ever tried any of these assorted meat platters i've never tried any anyways this is the fruits area and the guys they had gizada now gizada is a local treat um so in the lunch one they had um drops they had coconut drops for love at lunch and then here they had gizada which i thought was so cool very local one of my favorite dessert is gizada normally you see people selling them on the side of the road or in rainforest the one in rainforest is so so good oh love me some gizada anyways i digress and then this is like the bread area and all of that they also had ice cream so they had chocolate ice cream you know vanilla they had strawberry as well and they also had some little popsicles and that's pistachio and this is the popsicles that they had they had mango and um strawberry as well so you know all in all 
this was what they had for dinner when we went to the buffet there is also a bar area which is right adjacent to the seating area where you can go you know get whatever drink you want and i thought this was good because you know you can order anything it's just like a regular bar and man tell us that them did heavy with the alcohol them never they weren't sparing with it <laughs> sometimes they go to some hotels and you ask them for um you ask them for a drink or a beverage and you know alcohol should be in it and you're just like man it's nah, nothing but here look at that that's two shots i just wanted a a little pineapple juice with some vodka but all in all it was good and yeah so that's pretty much the buffet area guys i completely forgot to do a video of the food that i had but we did do the dessert because chung was saying that this looks like saliva <laughs> anyways this is another area where you can get food you know it's a nice beautiful area if you want to have like a you know dinner with a view um we never had dinner here um i think this is a sunday grill i'm not 100 percent sure but i think this is a sunday grill and you can have lunch and dinner here and it's a nice beautiful view but we never had dinner here but just showing you guys the option also what i forgot to show you guys in the last one is the gift shop right so this is the gift shop right here so i guess you guys could you know get some um souvenirs in here if you'd like like your water shoes your snorkel gear your bags your mugs all of that little stuff and they also had some jewelry that they had in the gift shop as well and like i said before guys i have a whole playlist on different hotels in jamaica that i've been to that i've done reviews for so you can definitely go and check it out if you're looking for airbnbs or villas i have a playlist there as well and a lot more vlogs for airbnbs and villas will be going into that playlist and as always like share subscribe turn on post notification and you know what they always say you know all good things must come to an end so you know our four day three night stay at moon palace came to an end and i'm telling you it was a very good time i really enjoyed myself at this hotel like i said it's a family resort and, and i do see myself coming back to this hotel in the future like it was really good but anyways guys that's pretty much it turn on post notifications so you don't miss when i drop the next vlog all right thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made it this far i thank you